Today I'm going to show you how to have your program ask the user to type in information so that your program can use it internally. And the easiest way to do this is to first download a file from my website. So I'm going to go to Firefox and if you go on to the AP Computer Science A page there is a resources section and at the bottom of the resources section there are some classes that you can add to your projects. The one we're going to use is called prompter.java. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to save it. I'm going to save as so I can pick where it's going to download to. And I want to put it into my workspace. So I'm going to have to find out where that is. It might be in a different spot on your computer. Let's see, to my documents. I'm using workspace 2 right now. And I'm in the project I called prompting. You're going to want to save the file in your SRC folder. I'm just going to click Save, and if I go back to Eclipse, you'll notice that nothing has changed. There's no prompting or prompter.java file, and that's because you have to refresh your project. So if you right-click on your project name, you'll notice there's a refresh option you can pick. You can also just hit F5, and now you'll see that we have our prompter.java file. You don't have to look at it unless you want to. Here's how we're going to use it. Let's say I want to ask the user how old they are, and I want their age, essentially, then. And let's assume that I want their age as an integer. So that means I first need to make a variable of type int, which I'm going to call age. So this is a declaration statement of a variable of type int. On the next line, I'm going to assign my variable to be the result of prompting. And the way you can prompt the user for some information is by typing in the name of the class, prompter, then using the dot operator, you can use a couple methods that are inside of that class. So we could prompt for a number, an integer. We could prompt for a letter or a character. We could prompt for a decimal or a, or a number or a double number. Or we could prompt for a message or a string. For our problem, we want to prompt for an integer, so I will select that one. And it also needs uh, essentially a message to tell the user what we're looking for. So I'm going to ask the user, how old are you? And to finish off that statement, make sure you put a semicolon at the end. To demonstrate what this has done, I'm now going to make another variable to hold how many months they are old. So I'm going to make a months variable, declarative type int because it's the first time I'm using that variable. I'm going to assign it to be the age variable times 12. So this is an initialization statement. I'm not just declaring that it's a month's variable as of type int, I'm also assigning it at the same time. And to see that this has actually worked, I'm now going to do a printout statement. So system.out.println, and I'm going to put months within the parentheses. And if all goes well, it should say how many months old I am. So I'm now going to run it. I want to save, sure. Click that so it always saves. And it's going to ask me how old am I. And let's see. Tell the truth, I guess. I'm 30. And you can see in the console, it prints out 360 because 30 times 12 is 360. So this is the most basic example of prompting for an input and then printing out the result of that prompt. Uh, one thing to notice that when it was prompting for input, the program essentially stopped. It was waiting at this line uh, until the user typed in something, and once that data was typed in, then it moved down and did this calculation with the months variable. So there, this is uh, a line of code that causes your program to block, where it stops and waits for some information to be put into it, and then it continues with the rest of the program.